Next topic is work energy and power. Before starting, we will first introduce the concept of the scalar product of two vectors, also known as the dot product of the two vectors. Suppose we are given the two vectors, vector A and vector B, and their dot product is represented by A dot B, and its value is AB cos theta. Here, A is the magnitude of vector A, and B is the magnitude of vector B. These are the magnitudes. And theta is angle between vectors A and B. So if we have to find the angle between the vectors, we will use dot product. And cos theta will be written as vector A dot vector B by AB. If we write the vectors in terms of its components, we can write that vector A equal to AX into I. AX is the component of vector A along the x-axis and I is the unit vector along the x-axis. And this unit vector I has the magnitude 1 and direction along the x-axis. Similarly, component of A along Y is AY in the direction of Y-axis that is J. This is the unit vector and similarly AZ into K. Similarly, we can write vector B in terms of its component as BXI plus BYJ plus BZK. So if we write A dot B, it will be AXI plus AYJ plus AZK. And taking dot product with B, this is BXI plus BYJ plus BZ. Okay. The gap on the vectors i, j and k represents their unit vectors. i is along x-axis, j is along y-axis and k is along z-axis. Now we take the dot product of vector a and b. Then this a is ax unit vector i plus ay unit vector j plus az unit vector k dot bx i plus byj plus bz k. Now vector a has three components and vector b has three components. So on taking the dot product, we will have total nine components and we will have ax bx i dot i plus ax by i dot j plus ax bz i dot k. Similarly, plus a y b x j dot i plus a y b y j dot j plus a y b z j dot k. And then taking the dot product of a z k with the three components of vector b, we will have a z b x k dot i plus a z b y k dot j plus a z b z k dot k. Now here we have to see that we have dot product of unit vectors like i dot i which are which are same. Similarly j dot j are also the two vectors which are same and k dot k. These three vectors having the dot product with same vector will result into the equal value that is 1 because i dot i refers magnitude of i into magnitude of i into cos of angle between them this is 0 degree and magnitude of unit vector is 1 so it is 1 into 1 into 1 that is 1 so i dot i is 1 j dot j is 1 and k dot k is 1 and other six components which are i dot j equal to j dot k equal to k dot i and their reverse order that is j dot i equal to k dot j equal to i dot k. Here, if we calculate the value of one of the component, this is unit vector i which has the magnitude 1, unit vector j which has magnitude 1, and the angle between them is 90 degree and cos 90 is 0. So this value is 0. Hence, these six components will be equal to 0. That means if vectors are same, then their product will be the 
product of their magnitudes and if the vectors are perpendicular their result will be zero for the dot product hence we can see that ax bx is the result ax bx i dot i is one similarly plus a y p y j dot j is one and a z b z k dot k is one all the remaining six components are zero so a dot b will be a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z similarly we can find that vector a dot vector a this will be equal to the a magnitude of vector a into a into cos zero degree because angle between the two vectors which are equal will have zero degree so we will have it is a square and it will be equal to a x i plus a y j plus a z k this is the one of the vector taking the dot product with itself it will be a x i plus a y j plus a z k and this value will be because earlier we have said that if i dot i it will it will have the value a x square other component will be j dot j this will be a y square plus third component is a z k a z k so it is a z square Our other six components will be zero so we can write this implies that vector a is, magnitude of vector a equal to square root of a x square plus a y square plus a z square we will take positive because magnitude is always taken in positive value similarly magnitude of vector b can be written as b x square b y square plus b z square so now using these values we can write now the formula for cos theta it will be vector a dot vector b divided by the magnitude of vector a and magnitude of vector b a dot b we have calculated a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z divided by and magnitude of vector a we have calculated also it is a x square plus a y square plus a z square into and magnitude of vector is b is b x square plus b y square plus b z square so using this formula we can calculate the angle between the vectors when the vectors are drawn from the same point this is the vector a this is the vector b and this is the theta and this theta can be calculated with formula given for cos theta here if theta is zero that means vectors are parallel vectors in that case vector a dot vector b will be equal to a b cos 0 degree and cos 0 is 1 so we can simply write a b if theta is 90 degree that means they are perpendicular or orthogonal in that case vector a dot vector b will be equal to a b cos 90 degree and cos 90 is 0 so it will be 0 so condition that dot product of two vector is zero is used to ensure that the vectors are perpendicular. There are the some properties which the dot products obeyed. First is commutative property holds for dot product of two vectors. That is vector A dot vector B will be equal to vector B dot vector A. Second is distributive property. It says that vector a dot vector b plus c will be equal to vector a dot vector b plus vector a dot vector c. Third is if lambda is a real number, then vector a dot lambda vector b, this lambda vector b will be also a vector. If b is the vector shown here, then lambda b will be the vector parallel to vector b and its magnitude will be lambda times of the magnitude of vector b so it can be written as lambda into vector a dot vector b let's take some problems 